Hey guys, welcome to a new brand spanking new video. Today I'm going to visit two retro expos, one in the Netherlands and one in Belgium. And I've never been to Belgium. And my reason for going is that maybe in Belgium uh, it's somewhat a different culture and maybe other uh, games are left over. Um, so maybe there are some different games than on all the expos in the Netherlands. So let's get started. If you want to get to the next level with me, consider subscribing if you already haven't and hit the bell button to get notified when I upload a new video. Okay, my weapons of choice today are a couple of things. I have a budget in mind. I set a budget for myself for uh, every expo. Um, that total I don't want to exceed and I have some reserve if I see some collector's items that I really want. I have some, some extra cash at hand and I will do it in my pocket and not in my, um, uh, in my wallet. So I have to take it out and I have to consciously for myself decide if I really, really want to have it. Okay. Other weapons of choice are, first of all, uh, I want to take a screwdriver with me to open up some Mega Drive cartridges for 10 bucks games. I, of course, I won't do that and I'll take the risk, but if I see some collector's editions, I want to open up to, just to see if the cartridge is in, uh, first of all, good condition, but it didn't, if it isn't a repro. Uh, second of all, a flashlight. Uh, the reason why I want to take a flashlight with me is uh, because if, if you look at cartridges and you look at the pins sometimes uh, it's hard to see if they are in good condition uh, or dirty or if there is some dust or, or, or dirt inside a flashlight can help me with that next I have a uh, disinfect a hand sanitizer because uh, I touch everything that some every everyone else touches and I don't want to get uh, get sick around this time of year. Uh, so many people are, are laying on their beds um, uh, ill and I don't want that. Next, I have a big shopper bag uh, from a really famous brand in the Netherlands. Uh, for the expo itself, I can carry games in, within, uh, in the bag. And I also have a, a plastic box. Uh, that I'll leave in the car, but if I want to visit uh, Expo number two, I can leave the games in the car in that box. Uh, or, yeah, if I do want to take it away, I, I don't know exactly, but um, uh, a, a famous saying in my family is Beter mee verlegen dan onverlegen. So uh, you can better take it with you than uh, coming it short uh, when you need it. I have also a want list compiled from the things I'd like to bring or I'm searching for on the expo. First of all, Subterranea on the Genesis. I want to have it for a good price in, of course, in good condition with manual about 10, 15 euros. Um, Rystar Genesis in good condition. I want to spend about, without a manual, about 40, 50 euros and with 75 or something um, then a, a, a master system games I want to have fantasy zone the maze or fantasy zone 2 I have fantasy zone 1 I like that a lot of master system games are in really bad condition or the paper is colored uh, faded of sunlight don't want that um, it has to be in good condition fantasy zone or fantasy zone 2 uh, fantasy zone the maze or fantasy zone 2 um, a Mega Drive controller with a USB connection. I want a Mega Drive style controller with a USB connection so I can connect it with my computer so I can capture footage from my uh, from my computer for um, so I can emulate games so I can capture it for the video channel in really good quality. Um, and it has to work on the Mac. Crash Bandicoot for the PlayStation 1. I purchased a PlayStation 1 on, on one of my previous expos. Uh, don't want to collect for it, but I want to have the, the typical games for the PlayStation. Crash Bandicoot is one of those titles. Uh, I heard that Crash Bandicoot 3 is the best, so I want to get that. But all the Crash Bandicoots will do I, uh, also. Don't want to spend much 
on it. Uh, Gauntlet 4, I want the cartridge and the manual. I have a cartridge, I have a, a no manual, uh, but the cartridge doesn't work. So I want to look if I can see uh, a cartridge only version of Gauntlet or and or the manual. The manual for the Monaco Grand Prix, uh, I missed that in my collection. I want to have it in good condition, of course. Um, I want to have one Master System game that I like and one Mega CD game that I like. Set an Action Replay Plus. Uh, I saw an Action Replay online, not a Plus. Uh, I want to have the Plus version because in the Plus version there is some extra memory and I want to use that. The reason why I have an Action Replay is because they are used to play Japanese import that is a really big thing on the on the Saturn because on the Saturn there are about thousand Japanese titles that we didn't get here over here in, uh, in Europe and in the USA 150 may maybe 300 uh, so there are uh, 700 about 700 exclusive titles for Japan uh, and I want to play that game so I saw them lying around on the expos and I'd like to have the choice and they are really special if they are imports. Uh, so an action replay plus for the Saturn. I want to have the Load Runner 1 I uh, played recently. Load Runner which was for me an old PC game. It was released on other platforms. Um, and they made a remake so I want to have just for fun the remake of Load Runner on the PlayStation. I want to have Quackshot cheap and uh, Castle Evolution cheap, those are mainstream titles. I want to have them cheap because I have them, but um, I want to have them in good condition. The condition was, wasn't that, that great of the games. Then some would be nice, a Master System 2 in good condition. I want to have the, the system itself because a Master System 2, I had one as a kid. Uh, and preferably I want to have one that is in the in the box with inlays and preferably the Sonic Edition, the packed in Sonic Edition because um, that was the version that I had as a kid then a broken game gear um, or one that is modded and already fixed um, with the screen or maybe a new screen those are expensive uh, or a VGA plug the problem with um, a lot of game gears is that the electronics are faulty and the capacitors leak and Sega uh, was too cheap as to do, to do good electronics in their products regretfully then Nights into Dreams, the special controller for it. Uh, Nights into Dreams is uh, one of the best games on the Saturn, uh, but it is somewhat hard to play with a regular controller. You can do it, but not really nice. And that controller has an analog stick. So it's uh, somewhat easier. The game is still hard. A Master System card. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I saw a Master System card slot on my Mega Drive converter as a kid and I didn't know what it was. Do you have to uh, stick in your credit card or your banking card or what What? What kind of card? A, for cheats codes I didn't know but it is a, a game. Uh, you can uh, buy cards, uh, game cards uh, with a game on it. I didn't have one as a kid. Oh great. Didn't have one as a kid so I want to have them and um, if they are not good games, then uh, I take a look at what, what, uh, what they look like. I didn't see one before. Then a 32X game that I like. I want to have a 32X game that I like because um, I noticed that they are somewhat rare and that not a lot of expos have 32X games. And yeah, that's something that I find really weird because uh, they are rare games, but the, the mainstream titles like Doom or Metalhead or Virtual Racing, um, you don't see them a lot, but they are not that expensive. They are all only uh, uh, 30 euros. Uh, there are some expensive titles on the 32X though. Um, Spider-Man and uh, the Calibri, um, Chaotix, Chaotix, Knuckles Chaotix, something like that. 
So, um, but I have to uh, go and uh, go to the expo now. So I'll see you in a bit. With a gas tank full of gas, here we go to Rochel. And I thought that Rochel was near Tilburg because on the flyers it said Tilburg, Retro Gaming Expo Tilburg. Uh, but it's probably not Tilburg, but it's Retro Gaming Expo Rochel. Uh, yeah, so I'm a bit late because I thought it was in Tilburg, but it was this, uh, something somewhere else. Yeah, and I wanted to be early because of all the, the deals, the pretty good deals that are happening in the first hour or so of an expo. Uh, but regretfully, uh, not today. I spent way too much money in there. Um, I didn't have all the all the um, all the the exhibitors, um, and I had to drag my ass out of there because I have I have um, I sp I overspent the 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 money for my first expo, uh, the second expo, and my my reserve cash oh god um, I want to drive to Belgium next <sighs> but I have no money left and I'm I'm not sure what to do now <laughs> just a quick one I do I'll do a recap I do a recap red zone for the mega drive I said I'm not going to collect for the mega drive yeah yeah <laughs> No, 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 no. I have to find an ATM right now for looking for some cash. Yes, I found a cash machine in Rochel. <laughs> Probably the only one in Rochel. Yes, I've decided I'm still going to Belgium, uh, to Aarschot of all places. Um, yeah, but I'm gradually, gradually sinking in that I spent really, really a lot of money and the uh, cash that I took from the cash dispenser, I'm um, not gonna spend it. That is my goal. Um, I have some bread with me and um, that's probably I've got to get used to that because for the next coming weeks that's probably my dinner, uh, breakfast and lunch. I got excited and that's because there was one vendor, no there were two vendors that had mint condition Mega Drive games. I spent most on Mega Drive games. Yeah, they had mint condition games, and and um, yeah, that that that's my soft spot. That's my weak spot. That's my. They looked so good, and 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 yeah, those two vendors had exactly the better games and had exactly the games I wanted. And, and I know that I was standing over there um, uh, at, at, at the, 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 the stand. I, I can order them online, I can. Uh, I can't take a look at the state of the, uh, of the games. I have to pay extra for the shipping and now I'm here and I'm already here and I don't have to pay for the extra shipping for the card. Uh, card. Um, you have to take a look, uh, uh, think about some things and maybe, yeah, I, I, yeah, maybe have to sell off some other things. I'm not sure yet. I, I'm going to Belgium first.
Okay, I just came back. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't that interesting and there weren't that many collector's items. Um, but uh, I spent a lot of money again, again, again. Um, I bought a double of Rocket Knight Adventures. Um, this version looked really good and I saw, I opened my cartridge uh, back at home and I saw that there was something on the board and I want to make sure that it is okay and if this looks something better, somewhat better, then uh, I'm gonna swap it. Uh, the price wasn't wasn't that that bad, it was, was the rating that it was going for. I have a somewhat rare game and it is Haunting haunting uh starring poltergeist and i uh, yeah it's it's an odd ball game and that's uh, uh, uh that's that's really nice and then but i was already through my money i saw cheeky cheeky boys um but i don't know the game yeah i know that it is somewhat rare game uh but i had and yeah i haven't any money left so yeah yeah just when i walked out i saw it but it was 40 euros it was yeah and i saw it on e ebay on for twice as much i saw prices of 100 130 euros and it was 40 here <laughs> so just to sell it off it was a would be a would have been a good investment if i didn't like the game so that is our schot now let's head back home and test the stuff that i bought i've traveled through a ton of small towns and i saw Big bag of fries over here, and I'm half hungry. Crap, it's closed. I don't. Why do you have a flag outside <laughs> when you're not open? Okay, back from the expos in Aarschot and Rochel. Let me share with you what I've got, and let's start with the less exciting things. Build up, huh? In the in the um, in the video. First of all, I have a Game Gear a game. This was a trade-in for my what was it? Marble Marble Madness. Uh, I spoke to the vendor that sold me Marble Madness that didn't work. I also spoke that's the same vendor uh, for Joblifter, and I could switch it. Uh, Joblifter, I liked that game. The problem with that game was it was a so covered in nicotine and the cartridge was sticky. Um, now I have a proper one and this is uh, is clean, it's nice and uh, and it works. <laughs> That's also handy. Um, it's Joblifter is a, just a simple game, but uh, I, I like it, I like it. Then uh, Axe Battler, that I uh, chose this game because there are some good reviews on uh, on YouTube. Uh, I'm not into RPGs, but uh, people said that this was uh, this was good. I played a little bit, but um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm uh, I have to really properly sit down for it to play it, so I can say if I like it or or not. Then I've got also another game for the Master System that is a Thunder Blade. Thunder Blade, it is a top down shooter for the Master System. And yeah, it, it wasn't, oh, it was still in my Master System. Thunder Blade, not really super interesting, but it, it, it is a nice shooter. It is a nice shooter, I like it. And uh, yeah, I, I, I like the game. It's complete in box with manual, with the Dutch manual. Uh, so that's uh, a great addition for my for my collection. Next up, next up, next up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is Super Thunder Blade for the Mega Drive. The reason why I chose this game, it's not a really special game because it is a um, an arcade conversion, but the arcade looks so much better than the Mega Drive one. The um, reason why I chose this is because it was only 10 euros, but it is complete in box um, and the, the, the quality of the, um, of the box is pristine. The, the quality of the card is pristine, the quality of the, of the manual is pristine. 
just 10 bucks. Okay, now let's get something more interesting. Uh, this is flashback for the Mega Drive. This was, yeah, it's not uh, not a super mainstream title, but it is somewhat a mainstream title, Flashback. Some say it's the follow-up of, the unofficial follow-up of Another World. I played a little bit and it looks it looks great, the graphics are great, it's somewhat a cartoon-like um, game. Um, you can jump on platforms and didn't really figure out what to do yet. Uh, I need to sit down quietly, but the graphics look, look, look great and, and the cartoon-like style and that's the reason why I wanted to have it. Uh, I paid 20 euros for it. Okay. Mm, what was on my list? On my list I had a USB gamepad. Did I manage it? Mm, I have here my USB gamepad. Yes, indeed. I was in Brochel and there was a guy and he sold the, uh, the things. Mm, and I didn't pick it up. It was only 8 euros, but he couldn't tell me if it works on the Mac or not. And um, yeah, in hindsight, I should have picked it up for uh, 8 euros, but um, no, I didn't. Then I came in Aarschot and uh, I had a little regret for that for that 8 euros and I saw the same things for 12 euros. And I also wanted to have a RGB cable. Da -da -da -da. Uh, RGB cable for the Mega Drive and the reason why I got this cheaper for 10 bucks because I, with the same guy I bought this cable I tested it and people said that is so much better than a regular um, than a regular SCART uh, cable but I don't see the difference and that's probably because I already have an RGB cable or this one is not so good, I don't know, but the picture quality is the same. So, yeah, not a real great addition. Mm, the oddball stuff, yeah, 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 yeah. The oddball stuff, yeah, okay. Oddball is definitely haunting, starring Poltergei. Um, yeah, I saw this, um, uh, the, the, the goal of the game is you are a thing poltergeist, uh, named Poltergeist, and uh, the, 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 the assignment is you have to scare people and you get points for that. Uh, I, I just sat down to test if it works and it works and I had to figure out what to do yet, but I was in a house and I could walk around and um, um, I saw that someone was totally not impressed with my haunting skills and I can't blame them. I'm not an experienced haunter. But probably after playing this game that will be a lot better. Okay. Yeah. Oddball stuff. That's why we like collecting. Oddball stuff. Oddball is definitely my... No, 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 no. no. No, suspense, suspense. This game is not rare at all. Sonic Advance. But I don't have the cased version. The reason why I picked this up is it's 15 euros and other than at another stand I saw it for 25 euros and it was caved 29 euros and the uh, uh, um, and, and it was uh, it was in not so good uh, uh, condition. This is mint condition for just 15 euros. And you say, how about the disc? Well, the disc is pristine, mint condition. It's clean, not a single scratch, not a finger on it. So um, yeah, I wanted to have the the box. But I think that even my version of Sonic Adventure that I uh, picked up years ago is probably 
in less good condition than this one and of course with a manual um, so I can sell off my disc only version and now I have a pristine copy of Sonic Adventure what is also like new is yeah 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 it's it's coming it's coming it's coming it's coming oh yeah it is my controller for the Saturn and you say well did you pay 85 euros for a controller yes but there's something special with that controller that controller is the very first controller with a thumbstick with an analog joystick on the on the gamepad nowadays it's standard but sega this was the very 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 first controller ever with a thumbstick why um yeah why this gamepad well there is a game called nights into dreams which is packaged as you already seen it with this um with this controller Nights into Dreams was probably one of the best, I don't say it's the best, but it is darn good on the Sega Saturn. If you don't have uh, Nights into Dreams for the Sega Saturn, you're missing out. The game um, limps on one leg and it, it, it is a, a, a two and a half D game. But the problem with that is you can see the, where the other dimensions are. It is 2D, but you can see everything. And that is really difficult to uh, uh, get the distances between objects. And you don't know where you're going. You are on rails, so to say. It's not really on rails, but it, uh, the game guides you through a... a uh, there's only left and right in the game, but you see all the all the dimensions and you see globes that you have to pick up uh, behind, but you don't know how to get there. Um, you can go to right, but then you're it's it's somewhat weird and it takes uh, it takes a lot of practice. This is not a uh, easy game, totally not. And I played it again, and um, I couldn't remember what what the goal was. If I do, I have to fly it through the hoops, or do I have to find those blue spheres? I think those blue spheres have to. But there was something with those loops, I, and and um, I I don't know what it was. Why do you need a controller for that? Well, this is the standard controller for the Sega Saturn, which I uh, like button-wise on this side, but not on this side. There are two different versions of the controller. This is the first one. There is a second one with a better directional pad. Um, the problem is with Night City Dreams, you have to uh, uh, do loops. Um, but with this, uh, a D-pad, it is pretty hard to do because after 5 minutes your fingers start to hurt and after 10 minutes your uh, your fingers are so much aching from this from this D-pad that you want to switch off the game. Um, and yeah, combined with a game that is difficult and the gamepad that hurts is not a real uh, good combination. I tried it out. It's really, it's it's really nice in the hand, and and the build quality is good. It feels nice. Uh, it's just a good controller. But on top of that, and that's the main reason why I bought it, Nights into Dreams was packaged in the uh, in the box. Nights into Dreams is in mint condition. There is a little scratch on the front side, but that's it. It's in really good condition. The box, but if you look at the disc, there is not a finger on it. There's not a scratch on it. It is pristine. It's new. It's brand spanking new. If the disc was damaged, um, I, uh, I, I, I didn't, wouldn't spend it, have spent many very much money, but if you know Nights into Dreams, um, but there is a second version of Nights into Dreams. Well, it's technically not a second version, but there is a version for the Sega Saturn with only two levels, and that was packaged in in the box that 
was Night City Dreams, Christmas Dreams. And also for this disc, there is not a single scratch on it. Also the manual is like new, like new. Combined with the really good state of the controller, I thought it was worth the money and I, um, for a long time I wanted to pick up the, uh, uh, the controller. I didn't have the disc version, but I had a disc version in a uh, jewel case like this, but it was the Japanese? No, that can't be. But that's not the original. This is the original case. It's missing the front, uh, it's, it's missing something. But this is original, so I can uh, cross that off my list. The controller and Nights into Dreams are now in my collection in pristine, brand spanking new condition. Okay, let's go over the list that I compiled for the, uh, for the Expos. What uh, was first subterranean for the Genesis? Uh, yeah, I, I saw it was too expensive. Um, Ristor in a good condition. I'll come back to that. Um, Master System Fantasy Zone, the Maze or Fantasy Zone 2. I didn't see both of the games. Um, Mega Drive controller USB uh, connection. I had that. I have that Crash Bandicoot for the PlayStation. I did look for PlayStation games uh, because of uh, the whole money I spent. Uh, Gauntlet 4, card and manual. Um, yeah, I wasn't focused enough to pick up Gauntlet. Mm -hmm. The manual of Monaco Grand Prix for the Master System. Um, I didn't see much stands with manuals, regretfully, regretfully. One Master System game that I liked, Jack. Um, one Mega CD game that I like. No, I didn't pick up any uh, Mega CD games. Uh, Sudden Action Replay Plus, regretfully, I didn't see it. Um, I saw an, uh, a, a whole lot of action replays for the Mega Drive, but I need the the uh, the, 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 the Saturn one. Mm -hmm. Load Runner for the PlayStation One. I didn't look at PlayStation One titles. Uh, Quack Shot cheap um, and Castle Evolution cheap. No, not 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 in good condition not enough good condition then uh, i have a would be nice section and on that would be nice section a master system 2 in good condition um no i i <laughs> i spent so much money i didn't look at it uh, those things are going for for 70 euros easily sometimes uh on expos uh but to be honest not worth it Maybe 30 euros, but not more than that. Uh, a Game Gear broken. I didn't see much Game Gears, and I didn't see much Game Gear games either. Hmm. Um, the Knights controller, yeah, got that. Uh, then a Master System card, yeah. I looked at some games um, on the uh, uh, Master System card system, and they were in so bad shape. And the, the uh, um, and and not really games I, I wanted to 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 have, so uh, no, I didn't pa pass up on that. And a 32x game I like, <laughs> um, I didn't see any any 32x games. No, I'm lying. I saw one. I saw one. And I hope to see maybe a Pico or a SJ1000 or a Mark II or, or Mark III, but I didn't see one either on, on, both, on both of uh, uh, those expos. They are uh, pretty rare indeed. So that is my checklist, but there's more. It's... I spent... I spend a lot of money, um, but not only on this stuff I showed you, there's more. I'm gonna make another video with my pickups for this day, because I picked up some 
really rare collector's editions of games. And I want to game, get, give those games some love. And that wanna, uh, I want to do that in a separate video. So just look out for my new video because this video is somewhat lengthy and they need to be loved. That's why they are collector's uh, 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 games. So uh, look out in my uh, next edition of this pickup video for the collector's editions that I picked up today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. That's it already for this video. I love making these videos for you, but in order to continue to do that, I need your support. You can support me for free just by hitting the thumbs up button so YouTube will offer my video to more people. You can also subscribe to my channel if you like and hit the bell button to stay updated. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.